At noon, the American government is working as fast as it can to help a local Marine who's being jailed in Mexico. Local 10 News reporter Tan Tong and is live in Weston with more on this case. Tan. Constance, very scary for the mother of this Marine, 25-year-old Andrew Tamaresi, on April 1st, was arrested by Mexican authorities as he was trying to cross the border. But his mother says he didn't realize he was trying to cross the border. He had made a wrong turn. He had, was driving to California with all of his possessions. He has post-traumatic stress disorder, and he was driving there to get some treatment. Had all of his belongings inside his pickup truck, including three firearms, three legal firearms. It is illegal to bring a firearm into Mexico. Therefore, Mexican authorities in Tijuana seized his belongings and also took him into custody. He's been in jail for a month now in Tijuana. His mother said he did try to escape the, a part of the prison he was put in with general population because he feared for his life. Mom, I escaped to a safer part of the jail. And I said, what? You escaped? He said, Mom, I had to. They were going to rape me. They were going to torture me. They were going to murder me. And they showed me the body bag they were going to carry me out in. So he had to escape in order for his life to be saved. His that is his mother, Jill. As you can imagine, she is absolutely terrified. She has finally gotten a hold of uh, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and they released this statement. The Congresswoman read Ms. Tamarissi's letter with concern and instructed her staff to get in touch with the State Department right away to ensure that Andrew's case was being handled as expeditiously as possible. You might recall the case of John Hammer, another Marine that uh, mistakenly was trying to cross the Mexican border with a firearm. He was in prison for four months until Ileana Ross Layton got involved. They eventually did get his release. Right now, there is no court date set for Andrew Tamarisi, and the, so his mother is hoping that the wheels of justice in Mexico will finally begin to move and her boy might be safe. We're going to obviously go back in, talk to her some more, and bring you an update on this uh, on Local 10 News beginning at 4 o'clock. For now, we're live in Weston. Tatang at Local 10.